Hello, my name is Russ, and I'm going to show you how to uh, integrate Vault with uh, Kubernetes. Um, the idea is you create service accounts in Kubernetes that have access to secrets in Vault. Um, those uh, service accounts, basically, uh, you associate them with your Kubernetes deployment so that all the pods in that deployment have a token file on them. Um, it's not written to disk, it's just, uh, it's a temp FS, so it's, it's in RAM. But anyway, your pods have access to a token file um, that contains a JWT um, that you can uh, you know, run a curl command to trade that JWT for a vault token. And then you can use that vault token to access your secrets in vault. Um, so I'll show you the process. Um, now I'm not going to create you know, show you how to create a, a vault um, server except for this simple dev version of a, a vault server. Um, you know, that it was that easy to um, create it. Um, if you want to create a um, vault, ser vault server on, uh, or a vault cluster on a uh, Kubernetes cluster, I would definitely Google um, the vault operator um, by CoreOS. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna set my vault token to the to the master token, so I can start working with vault. Um, I'll show you this too that we have that I have a I have my vault address pointed to you know my local dev instance of uh, or my IP address colon eighty eighty two hundred which is my dev instance of vault. Um, so it's a fresh vault, a fresh mini cube, which I'll show you. It's cube, CTL, get pods. Uh, nothing in there. So let's see. Now, let me show you too that I'm able to communicate with my um, vault server. Um, there's no secrets yet, but you know, it didn't give me an error, so you know, I'm communicating. So first of all, I'm going to create a, um, a service account called Vault Token Review. Uh, this is the service account that Vault will use to log into Kubernetes. Um, and then I will create a um, create a binding. Just just a minute, let me show you this. Type um, Vault Token. So this is a YAML file that. Uh, creates a binding uh, basically it gives that service account access you know this this um, cluster role so it can do authentication I guess um, yeah I don't know the details honestly um, but this is necessary to for that uh, for vault this is the access it needs um, so let me create oops let me create that And then um, let me get the secrets I've got. So when I created the um, service account, it actually created this uh, secret here. Um, and I want the JWT out of that secret. So let me grab that. Um, coop, coop, CTL, get secret, that one. And then um, I can do that JSON to see all that stuff. But if I just want um, the token itself, um, I'll do this command here. So that gets the um, uh, base64 encoded token. Um, but inside this, uh, this um, base64 encoding is a JWT um, and you know what I'll show you what's inside that JWT JWT uh, decode so you can just see it's a uh, 
Uh, it's in the default namespace. It's got, you know, this is the name of the, the secret and yeah, stuff like that. That's how you read a J JWT, uh, Java Web, JSON Web Token, I mean. Uh, so let's see, where was I? Back to this. Copy. That's my JWT. I need to. I'm going to put it in a file a minute. So I can refer to that in uh, my in my command line. Um, but first, I need to enable uh, the Kubernetes authentication method in Vault, and then I need to. Um, see, I'm referring to that JWT file here. Um, that's the token re reviewer, JWT. The token reviewer is the service account. Like, you know, that's a mapping to the service account. Um, I'm using Minikube, so I'm going to refer to my um, Minikube CA certificate. Um, let's see here. That is Minikube's uh, IP address and uh, port. And that's about it. So that sort of um, configures Vault to talk to the Kubernetes API. So what I want to do too is set up a, um, a policy for my... So this is the policy. Here, let me show you the policy first. This is the access that my service account that my uh, that I'm going to associate with my deployment is going to have. Um, it's going to have just read access to that path right there, that um, secret data demo. Um, and notice notice the data, that's a, that's a new thing for the latest version of Vault. Uh, the versioned uh, key value store has this extra data um, I don't know, route in the, in the path. Um, Needs to be just secret slash demo basically in version one. So okay. Anyway, let me um, I'm gonna write that policy to Vault. Um, I think I need that. And this next command, um, what does this do? I think. Um, Oh yeah, it creates a, a role called demo role um, and binds a uh... no, I didn't create my service account yet. Well, I can create it later, I guess. I think. Anyway, I'm going to create a name a uh, service account called Russ. I'm going to do that first, just because I worry that it's not going to work right if I if I don't. Sorry. Give me a minute. Oh, okay. let's see. I already created one earlier, so here's the syntax. Service count Russ. Now, um, so I'm going to associate this this new service account uh, in the in the default namespace here uh, with the demo policy that I just created. Um, So sorry, I'm creating a role, and it's associated with the service account, and it's given that that policy, which again is right here. Um, it just has access to read that that path. Sorry, it's a little confusing, I'm sure, but you get used to it. Um, these are uh, vault concepts you gotta learn. Um, I'm not trying to teach those right now. I'm trying to um, just show you how you to integrate. Um, Kubernetes and Vault. So, so what's next here? All right, now I want to create a deployment that's going to use that. Uh, it's going to use that's going to be associated with the service, the Rust service account. I've got that here. Um, I mean, it's simple as just saying service account name Rust. By the way. I'll just, before I go on, I'll just show what, uh, let's see, kubectl get uh, 
servers accounts, I think. Yeah. Um, and then each of those has a secret associated with them, you know, which is the token, their token. Um, and you can, here, let me show you this too. Get, I already did, I showed, showed you that earlier. Never mind. Um, anyway, let me uh, create this group CTL, create Azure, plus Nginx, YAML. Now, kube CTL. Get pods. I'll give that a minute to create. And then I need this. So kube CTL exec um, IT in batch. So now I'm on that um, pod. Apparently it's done creating. And uh, I want to see that JWT. Sorry, that went fast. I catted, I catted this. Um, if I type DF, you can see that there's a tempfs volume um, at this path for on secret service account. And then under there, um, there's a I'm trying to do ls. So there's a token file in there, and I, I catted it, and that's a JWT. Um, so that's how you log in as that service account, basically. Um, and that's what I'll do next here. I've got. Uh, Oh, I don't have curl yet. At, uh, bear with me, I gotta install curl. Um, install curl. Now, now that I've got curl, I can call the uh, vault API using that JWT and get the uh, the, um, the vault token I want. Oh. So, sorry you didn't get to see that. I just, whoa, I did it again. <laughs> this is my command. Um, I'm calling the uh, this endpoint, the auth Kubernetes login. Um, Asking to log in with where is my GW? Oh yeah, see I'm catting the uh, right. You know I'm doing the back tick, catting the um, the token file uh, so that I can send it with my um, curl payload. Um, so I'm logging in as this demo role basically, and here in somewhere in here. Well here, let me get a better output. Um, you can, uh, oh, I need JQ. Uh, J so I can parse that. Pressing enter immediately, so you didn't get to see the command. But anyway, I just added pipe jq to the end, so I can just uh, so it just kind of parses the um, the JSON for you, so you don't so it's easier to read. So my next command is going to add uh, a little bit to that. You know, it's it's adding the dash r for remove the quotes, and then uh, I'm just picking out the auth client token piece. See auth client token. So I just want that token. That's the vault token. Wait a minute. It looks different. Oh, just because I ran it again, so it, uh, it got a new token. Anyway, there's there's a token I can use to, uh, to query vault. So, I mean, one, one thing I could do is 
you know, combine that curl command with oh, shoot. with a uh, export vault token equals whatever, um, and then I can um, echo that and use it. If I had vault the vault command on this computer, I could use that, or I can just refer to vault token in, in a curl command or something. Um, let's see here. What was I gonna do? Okay, so next I want to actually you know, exit out of this pod and um, store a secret. So my secret is boobar and it's in the foo key under the demo path which um, which again is uh, let's see I have access to that because uh, my policy gives gives me access um, so I can uh, now Go back in the um, go back into my pod and uh, oops, that's not my token. Um, where was my token? That one work. I should have that back tick thing so that I can don't have to uh, type it in manually, but you get the idea. Here I just I queried um, I queried that that secret from Vault using uh, that token, and I can again I can parse it with JQ. Um, yeah, there it is, Foo Boobar, and I can pick out exactly what I want. Dot data dot data dot foo. There's Boobar. And if I don't want the quotes, oops. if I don't want the quotes, I do dash r. There's boobar. I can, I can um, export. Let's see here. Yeah. Foo. Yeah. Foo equals dollar friend. And I can echo. Echo. Foo. There it is. So yeah, that's how you can um, read and you know read your um, vault token vault secrets out and uh, you know consume them as uh, environment variables. And there are other ways, of course, but it's just one way. Um, it's about what I want to show you. I think got some other things, but not necessary. Thanks for watching.